Want to travel back in time? Stick around and you'll do just that. Let's go back just over 100 years to 1917. We're in the United States and we've just found out that Arthur Zimmerman, the German minister to Mexico, sent a telegram that was intercepted by the British. It offered parts of the U.S. to Mexico if it would join the Central Powers, which consisted of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. They needed help to defeat the Triple Entente, which was originally composed of France, Great Britain, and Russia. Until then, we were neutral. What do you think that telegram did? Of course, them was fighting words! Mexico didn't take the bait, but we did. Unfortunately, we weren't ready. In fact, the U.S. Army had roughly 127,500 members, while our National Guard had a bit more. The Central Powers had millions of experienced soldiers. Moreover, Russia had just gone through a revolution and left its allies to fend for themselves. The U.S. had to recruit and train millions for its war effort. The challenge was to transform enough civilians into soldiers to overcome the Central Powers, all on an exceedingly short time scale. To that end, President Woodrow Wilson and the U.S. Congress ordered General John J. Pershing to lead the effort. The plan was to build a system of cantonments, the purpose of which was to house and train soldiers and other personnel needed for the war effort. All told, they recruited or drafted about 4 million civilians and trained them in 32 cantonments, 16 for the regular army and 16 for the National Guard. They were built on a unified set of specifications consisting primarily of enlisted barracks, officer quarters, and drilling spaces. Here's the rub. The cantonments had to be built before the troops could begin their training. That meant clearing out forests and draining swamps. Who do you think did all that? Of course, it was the recruits. The recruits formed what eventually became known as the American Expeditionary Forces, or the AEF. Before they began their training in earnest, they had to build their own barracks. The enlisted barracks were two-story structures with open squad bays, a mess hall, a kitchen, and other design features to accommodate all their training needs. The only people that had any privacy in those barracks were the senior enlisted. The officers lived in one-story wooden structures and had private rooms. Before they could even begin drilling, the men were getting toughened up with all the hard labor that was required of them. What's more, they were already getting used to following orders while wearing their civilian clothes. Before they were ever issued a uniform, they were being conditioned in a variety of tough situations. If you like this video and would like me to record more, please drop a comment below. And thank you for watching.